everyone, this is Isabel Paradi. I'm talking to you from this incredible venue in Hawaii, PTC. And I'm also in incredible company today with Pierre-Louis de Guilbon, CEO of Orange International Carriers. Pierre-Louis, bonjour. Bonjour Isabelle. Hello Isabelle. Pierre-Louis, you're my first return hot shop victim. You're the first person that has done this twice. So obviously the first time wasn't too painful. I oh, know, uh, especially with you, Isabelle, and the view we have and the weather we have, it's not painful at all. It's a huge pleasure to talk with you today. So, Pierre-Louis, uh, I had the privilege of attending your Sawa's event in Morocco in December. And I also had the privilege of listening to your keynote speech about the future transformation of the industry. And during this, this presentation, you mentioned two key words uh, or buzzwords that people are talking about more and more in the industry. One of them is IoT, obviously, unsurprisingly, and the second one is artificial intelligence or AI. So today, maybe you can share with me uh, a bit more about you know, what you think about these two buzzwords, what it means for the industry. So if we can talk, start with IoT. How do you think IoT, what type of challenges, opportunities that could bring to the carriers, the wholesalers, the operators, and how they should address it you know, with their business going forward in, in the, currently and in the near future. Okay, so IoT is first an incredible number of uh, connected objects. Uh, currently, we have on a world level something like 5 billion, mm -hmm. and uh, we are expecting in the coming years, uh, I don't know, 60 million, billions or more connected objects. And we are talking about all types of objects. It can be uh, drones, it can be uh, cars, it can be health uh, device. It can be, uh, I don't know, uh, your home, connected home. It can be your shoes, your tennis racket, your golf club. Anything is going to be connected. So we are talking about billions of connected objects. And so uh, with different needs for, uh, in terms of uh, network uh, needs, uh, bandwidth, some of them may you, you be uh, using a lot of bandwidth, and some uh, latency, and sometimes both. So um, it addresses for the carriers uh, new opportunities uh, on the retail side uh, for retail companies just by selling uh, just uh, this type of device and by managing this device. Also bringing to, uh, B2B uh, opportunities, uh, for example, selling some floats of vehicles, of cars connected, even uh, to connect some cargo, some, some planes, so really new needs. And also for the carrier industry to be able to manage those uh, things, which are, by the way, doing some roaming. So it's very interesting for carriers because um, the carrier needs is really a matter of uh, fueling connectivity and addressing uh, the connectivity for our customers to uh, the content. And on top of that, addressing new services. And in my mind, IoT is really a way of first being able for us to address these new needs in terms of traffic. Remember that the traffic is multiplied by two every year and this new device will continue to, I would say, provide uh, this multiplication of traffic by 100 person every year, but also for us to provide new services to uh, retail customers and to B2B customers and carrier customers as well. So Pierre-Louis, I guess it brings us to the second buzzword, which is artificial intelligence or AI. When we think about artificial intelligence, the first thing we think about is science fiction robots. But if we're more pragmatic, and down to hurt, do you think operators, carriers, and wholesalers can start implementing AI in their business today to help them transform? And maybe in the near future, it can be used as a capability to better address IoT? Artificial intelligence is really the next revolution. So I was talking about the bandwidth and revolution, which is fueling our current revolution, but artificial intelligence is the next uh, move, which is which has started now. So it's a matter of switching from a hardware company for us to a software company, very important thing, very important evolution for us, and also switching from a human intelligence to a robot intelligence. And then it, uh, uh, it uh, reveals uh, movies like Matrix or Terminator movie, for example, where we have the fear of the machine controlling the human, which can happen, by the way. Uh, some people are saying it's going to be possible. Uh, and uh, by uh, 20 years from head now, so the future is really now. But um, uh, before <laughs> being that type of uh, period of time, uh, short term, yes, it's first uh, all the technologies about SDN uh, NFV, able, uh, enabling us to provide uh, on-demand services and software-based services, being able to provide really a very fast and quickly service where today we, we need some weeks, some months, or even more. So first things we can provide. The second is about being helped for the hotline, for example, to have chatbots to help our customers. 
and also uh, for us uh, launching a vo ver a vocal assistant, you know, Google, Amazon, Facebook are launching their vocal assistant, but we have, uh, as an operator also, uh, our own uh, vo vocal assistant, which is called Jingo. So we are launching Jingo, which is a, some, based on artificial intelligence, really something really new on the market. So uh, yes, currently uh, this brings up to, uh, to, I would say, new services, and uh, we, can, uh, we can surf on these opportunities to, uh, to uh, build new business. Sir, this opportunity, we're in the right place in the Hawaii talking about Sir. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. So, thank you, Pierre Louis. You know, uh, as always, it's very inspiring, always interesting. And I hope we can do this again soon. As you say in French, jamais 203. Hein? Jamais 203, yes. C'est ça? Yeah. Hein? Never two without three in English. But exactly. <laughs> jamais 203 in French. Okay. So, before I close this hot shot, I would like to, to thank the IT Forum for sponsoring and making this a reality, a possibility. And uh, it's becoming windy, so on this note, <laughs> until my next hot shot.